Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are going to be unboxing Everglow's fifth single album, Zombie. We have both versions here, so this white one, or I guess light purple one, is the Pulse version, and then this black and purple one that's kind of darker is the Heart version. These took a little bit longer than I thought they would to get to me, but I do have them now before you guys, so I can finally unbox them. And I did get these from K-Town for you, so they did come with pre-order benefits, so let's check out those. All right, so these are the pre-order benefits that I got. Obviously, I didn't get six albums, so I'm not going to get like a full set. But I did get an Onda here, which I am Onda bias, so very happy with that. And then I did also get a Mia here, which is no surprise if you're familiar with my photo card collection. Uh, Mia is probably the member that I pull the absolute most <laughs> on Everglow or in Everglow. I pull probably Mia, Asha, and Iron probably the most. I don't have very many EU, Onda, or uh, Shihun photo cards. Um, but yeah, very happy that we did get an Onda, so we at least got my bias with these. So I think that's all I want to say in the intro, so let's go ahead and just start with the unboxing. I will start with the Pulse version. Okay, so first version we're going to be looking at is the Pulse version. So this is the front. And this is the back, it has a nice little zombie text up here, upside down. And I guess real quickly, let's go over the track list because there are three tracks on this album, this single album. So Zombie, I really do like. Zombie, when I first listened to it, it didn't immediately click with me. But after a couple more listens, it definitely caught on and it kind of like got really catchy to me. Uh, so I do enjoy Zombie now. And the two B-sides, Colors and Back to Love, I also really enjoy. Colors reminds me a lot of another B-side of Everglow's, uh, Nighty Night. It sounds actually very similar to Nighty Night, in my opinion, uh, but I do like Colors a lot. And then Back to Love is one of those songs where you can just put on the radio in the car while you're just driving down the highway. It's really nice and easy to listen to, so very much enjoyed all the songs on this album as a whole. And then we have the side here, which it won't focus, but that is the side. And I already took everything out of it, so you do get a couple photo cards, a postcard, I think a set of stickers, a lyric sheet, and then I think a poster. And they were all kind of on different pages, they weren't on just one page. So if you buy this yourself, just be aware that everything's basically going to be on different pages. At least they were for this first one here. All right, so let's take a look at the photo book, make sure that I'm in frame here. I think this first version is probably going to be mostly the white or like a hospital scene set from the movie. And we can see right off the bat that is exactly what we are getting here. Very pretty photos of EU. The MV was really interesting. Um, as I mentioned, the song did not catch on uh, with me right away. It's definitely not your typical Everglow title track, uh, but after a while it caught on because it was, I realized it was like kind of hypnotic, just like the whole melody and flow of the song and all of that stuff. Um, you got to hear all of the members sing, which I thought was awesome. Uh, I think this might have been, I don't know if it's true or not, but it just feels like to me this might have been uh, Everglow's like most even line distribution in any of their title tracks. Um, not that the line distribution is like a huge issue for me or anything like that, but I thought it was cool to be able to hear, you know, all of the members sing, you know, a decent amount of parts in the song. So very much enjoyed that. I do know a lot of people were not necessarily upset, but disappointed that there wasn't like, ooh, it's kind of like um, wax paper or something like that. That's kind of cool. Um, I know a lot of people were kind of disappointed that it wasn't Everglow's typical title track, where it was kind of just like very EDM heavy and there's like a huge drop and, you know, you expect to just like go to a club and hear an Everglow title track. But I do appreciate them, I don't know, I guess stepping outside of their comfort zone um, and trying something different. And like I said, you know, it wasn't something that caught on with me right away, but after a while, honestly, it was the la-di-da hook that probably drew me in the most. Like, 
once I listened to it a couple times, I found myself later in the day when I wasn't listening to it, just singing the hook over and over again. I was like, oh, okay, maybe I want to go back to the song and like listen to it some more. So it kind of like, it was one of those earworms, you know, where it doesn't really uh, hit you right away, but definitely catches on later. And then Colors, which is also another very good B-side. Everglow B-sides have been really good the last couple comebacks. I've really enjoyed those for sure, for sure. The pre-chorus in Colors was really nice. I liked the pre-chorus. It reminded me a lot of pre-choruses that you might hear in their title tracks because that's something else that they're known for is really good pre-choruses in all of their title tracks. And I mean, this song too, I know people were disappointed that there wasn't a huge drop, but this song kind of had a drop at the start of the chorus. It just didn't, it wasn't as emphatic as past drops or, you know, a drop can be. Uh, so I definitely think that there was a drop. It was just, you know, not as, it didn't hit, I guess, with a lot of people. But I really enjoyed the lighting in the music video. The, I felt like the music video was more or less simple, I guess, for lack of a better term. Uh, not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but I definitely felt like whoever was directing and shooting, I guess, uh, definitely did with what they could, or did what they could with what they had, is what I'm trying to say. Because the lighting, I thought, was top tier. Uh, in the hospital scenes, and then also on the darker set with like the green strobe lights and the red strobe lights, um, that was all very well lit and it made all the girls look very, very pretty and definitely allowed them to show how gorgeous they are. We are nearing the end of this first photo book here. We got some very pretty pictures of Onda with the eye patch. I wonder if she's gonna have any photo cards of that with the eye patch. And we have Asha. I'm actually looking forward to the next photo book because I would say I enjoyed the darker set and darker concept a little bit more. So I'm guessing that's what the other photo book is going to be about. And this is obviously like predominantly the hospital set. Um, we have the CD here. So let's go ahead and look at this pretty plain CD for the most part. Cool, cool. But yeah, that was the photo book for the Pulse version. So let's go ahead and take a look at the goodies. All right, so first up we have this poster here. It's a folded poster. And I think there's two types of posters because I did look at the album details uh, before starting uh, filming. And I do think there's two types of posters. I'm guessing you just get this hospital scene one in the Pulse version and then probably whatever the darker concept is in the other version, but we'll see when we go through that one. Uh, the back is just white, so nothing on the back. Then we have this, which is a, I believe, handwritten lyric sheet. And, oh, look at that, we got Mia. <laughs> Mia is forever my, I guess, blessing in all of my Everglow album pulls. I guess it's supposed to be this way, yes for you. Nice, nice. Cool. It's kind of like a, someone's redlining like a heartbeat sensor. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. And then we have, I believe these are hand-drawn stickers as well. And I think there's two sets. So this is the first set and this is <laughs> very funny. So I guess this is all their drawings of what they think they might look like as a zombie. <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> awesome. All right, and then we do have one postcard. I think there was maybe, I think it was two versions of a postcard and there were six total types, or no, it would have to be 12 total types, one for each member. I don't know, but we do get a postcard and, oh, we get an Onda, okay, perfect, nice. So we are exclusively pulling Mia and Onda things so far in this unboxing. Very happy with that though. It's my first Onda postcard I think I've ever gotten in any of the albums that I've gotten for Everglow in the past. Cool. 
All right, now for the photo cards, they kind of went insane with the photo cards this era. So they did four per member. Uh, so it's two versions and two per member in each of those versions. So I think it's total total of 24 photo cards. And you get two photo cards per album. So let's see how we do with that. This is the first photo card. Oh, we get an Onda. Okay, nice. Okay, very happy that I'm pulling Onda things. As I mentioned before, I do not have Onda photo cards. Really, not that many. Uh, I think it's like two that I maybe have of Onda. Uh, I don't actively like collect Everglow and go out of my way to collect Everglow, but I do keep all of my pulls as long as they're not duplicates. And so very happy to have this Onda photo card here. Very pretty. All right, and then photo card number two. Oh, we get a Shihyun. Okay, very nice. Pulling members that I don't have a lot of photo cards of. Nice. I'm actually like really happy about that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting to just flip this photo card and it'd be like another Mia. <laughs> Please focus. Don't focus on anything in the background. Thank you. This is the back. Cool, cool. Very happy with this. Oh my goodness. Very happy with this. All right, moving on, we have the heart version here, and this is the front, pretty much the same as the pulse version, and the back, which it looks like the track list is on top here, and this is actually like right side up, so that's kind of interesting. And that is the side. Let's go ahead and open the photo book. I took everything out of it, by the way, and I did forget to mention they were doing a limited amount of Polaroid photo cards uh, I did not get a Polaroid photo card as I've taken out all the inclusions and I did not have one. Uh, but they were doing a limited amount of Polaroid photo cards, probably first press only, not in every album, obviously. I didn't see how much they were releasing of those, but you do have a chance if you get one of these, I guess, first press to get a limited edition Polaroid photo card, so that's kind of cool. And this will be the darker concept, as I thought it would be. And we start off with a unit and then EU here. Very pretty. I thought the styling mainly for that darker concept and the MV and what obviously this photo shoot is going to be, I thought the styling was absolutely spot on. All the members look so amazing with this style. And uh, I guess wardrobe and the makeup and all of that stuff, they just look incredible. So... Definitely very much appreciate that and love that. Love to see them thriving for sure. Gonna try to focus a little bit more on the photo book for this one. Because I think I didn't really focus too much on the photo book or at least talk about the photo book uh, in the first one when I was going through the Pulse version. This is giving very much like Wednesday Adams type vibes for sure. Which I think Wednesday is a pretty... Wednesday is the show on Netflix. I don't watch... I don't have Netflix, so I don't watch very much Netflix. But I think Wednesday was the show uh, that was very popular last year. So that might be Wednesday Adams inspired. Who knows? More uh, lyrics, I guess, for Zombie. And the credits, I assume. Here we have Onda. Very stunning photos of Onda here. I thought the choreo for Zombie, the title track, also really fit the song as well. Like, it kind of actually looked like they were moving like zombies. You know, it was kind of, when you think of, like, zombies and, like, dance choreo, I feel like, at least me personally, immediately think of uh, the Michael Jackson song Thriller and that music video. Because, obviously, he was performing with a whole bunch of zombies, but... I'm not that old, by the way. That came out well before I was born. I just immediately think of that when I think, like, zombies and choreography. <laughs> like, it was that iconic, you know? Uh, but I am not that old, by the way. Please do not come after me for being that old. <laughs> and we have the colors, lyrics there, I believe. Another heartbeat sensor. Very pretty unit photos here. Mia going with, I believe, I guess you would call this a wolf haircut, wolf style haircut. Looking very gorgeous. I like the nails, just the jet black nail polish. 
Nice. I definitely think I enjoy this concept uh, a little bit more than the Pulse version. But I mean, that's just, you know, me. You can definitely enjoy the Pulse version more if you do. I just more or less prefer, like, I'm a, you know, I like horror movies and, like, dark things and stuff like that. So, definitely, this is more my style. We have Asha here. As I record this, I do think Zombie Promotions actually just wrapped. I think they only did two weeks of Zombie uh, Promotions. And I think uh, Shihyun is going back to filming a drama. I think I did read that, that she was going to film a drama after promotions were done. And then the other five members, not totally sure what they're going to do. Um, I hope eventually their company, Yuehua, uh, gets their act together <laughs> and gives Everglow a full album or at least a mini album because five single albums is kind of crazy. Um, also, they don't have a light stick yet. And here we are, like, what, five? Is it five years or six years after their debut? I think it's only five. Um, but it might be six, not totally sure. But, um, yeah, they still don't have a light stick, so it's kind of just like, okay, you know, what are we doing here? Like, you have all this potential with all these talented girls in a group. Like, let's go ahead and use that potential um, and let them show their stuff to the world. But, you know, I don't run a company, so I can't really do anything about it. But I can ask the questions like, why isn't that stuff happening? <laughs> Here is the CD plate for the heart version. Very nice CD plate. I do like this CD plate a lot. All right, so that was the heart version. Let's go ahead and look at everything else. All right, so first thing, obviously we have the poster and it is different and it's another vertical one. So another vertical group poster here. Very nice, very nice. And the back is once again, just plain white. Then we have the little handwritten, I think they were calling it a lyric sheet. And we have a Shihyun again. Okay, perfect. Nice. Pulling different members that I don't normally pull. I'm absolutely loving this. I don't know if I'm going to put these in my extra inclusions binder or large inclusions binder. Not totally sure. I could definitely, it probably would fit in, I don't know if it would fit in a even a three pocket, it might take a two pocket to fit this in. It's just kind of like a weird um, size, I guess, and dimensions, but we'll see. All right, up next we do have more stickers and it looks like these are different stickers. So that's very cool, two sets of stickers and we get both. This is all of their drawings for how they think that they look when they're a zombie <laughs> or if they were a zombie, I guess, very cute. All right, and then postcard here, we get another Shihyun. Okay, we are absolutely cooking today with all the pulls. Pulling members that I don't normally pull, very happy with that. Now if I could only pull like an EU photo card, that would be pretty cool. Very happy with this. All right, first photo card for the heart version. Oh, we get an Edon, okay, very nice. We get an Edon, very pretty photo card, oh my goodness. With the bow choker. And the braids, very, very pretty. Okay, please focus on the back, thank you. Cool, very happy with this pull. All right, and last photo card of the video. Oh, we get another Onda, okay. Wow, this is similar to her K-Town for You pre-order benefit. She's got the nice um, braids in her hair and then the color contacts, very nice. Coming at you with a claw. Here we have the back. Very nice. Very happy with these pulls overall. All right, so that was everything that I have for Everglow's fifth single album, Zombie. Very much loved all the pulls that I got and very happy with everything today. With regards to my next video, I hope that's going to be a storing photo cards video. And I don't know if I'll be able to have that for you by the end of this week. Maybe by the start of next week, I'll have to see if I have time to film it because it's going to be a very big one. I have a lot of photo cards to put away, so it's probably going to be, I think, probably close to an hour long video if I'm just guessing off the top of my head. 
But uh, I'll definitely hopefully get that to you next. And then after that, we'll obviously look forward to a Red Velvet unboxing. We'll look forward to a G-Idol unboxing when I Sway comes out. But Red Velvet's release actually happens tomorrow since I'm recording this on a Sunday. So Red Velvet actually comes out tomorrow, which I'm very much looking forward to. And those of you that watched my last video and made it to the outro know that I just saw Itzy on the 20th of June. And I had so much fun. I had an absolute blast. And I will definitely talk about that more probably in my storing photo cards video. I do want to put together just like a clip video of like a couple of the performances that I recorded. Because I did record some. Uh, but I'll have to like figure out where and if I want to upload that. Just because looking at like YouTube copyright rules and stuff like that kind of freaks me out. So like... I just want to make sure, like, the channel doesn't get a strike, so I don't know if I want to upload on the channel, but I still want to, like, put a video together, you know? I'm just kind of, like, internally wrestling with that idea, uh, basically every day. <laughs> but, yeah, that is everything that I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.